Hello everybody, I'm Luis and in this video let's talk about my Nikon.raft.y library and let's create some push uh, pull down button and some split button in this uh, panel. Yes, let's open my Visual Studio project and I'm using the my plugin app loader to uh, update my, my panel and see what is happening. Um, it's time I build this project. So let's go in here and let's create a ribbon.panel.create a split button. Yes. And then let's create a, I mean, create as well. I create pull down button. Yes. Uh, let's create a name here. Pull down button. Button. Great, and this is gonna be a, a split button. That's great, and show what happened. Yeah, this is the pull down button, button, and this is the split button. Yes, uh, if I can control click in here using Visual Studio, I can see the the extension how uh, it works. Yeah, this is the target name, uh, and this requires some push button data to be applicable inside the push down pull down button yes uh, and that's basically what we're gonna do uh, so I close my mistake so if I go in here uh, let's create a list or an array or um, pull down buttons equal new yes let's do something like this gonna work at the moment so we're gonna do something like that like this new uh pull down data yes and let's create with this approach i guess gonna work it's the same and this one gonna be push pull down button one and this one gonna be uh two and three yes two and three yes and I'm gonna apply this one in here. Gonna be good to go. And now I have some pull down buttons here. Which one with the icon that I adding that. And is working something like this. Great. Uh, I can do the same for the split button. And you can see the difference in that. Uh, I can do something like this. Let's change this and change the name just to see what happened and yeah that's this is split button basically gonna select or by default gonna have the first one yes if i click in here gonna uh use the split button one yes and this one i don't have a, a default button i need to click in here to execute a button that's basically the difference yeah and uh and with the pull down button, I can have pull down button. I can have an icon for this one. Something like this. Yes, I'm gonna have an icon here now. And this one, this one, this one has her own icon. Yes, and this now, this is a little different. So if I change, maybe let's remove this one just to show. Yeah, now I don't have icon in there. If I move to this one, I'm gonna have an icon that's related to this button. And this doesn't matter actually. So yeah, that's basically the, the difference, but both works the same. It's a collection of uh, push buttons, basically. Yeah, uh, that's basically it, I guess. Uh, all the same features related to, uh, to push button gonna be applied on here. That's great. I'm not sure if I let's pull down button. If I can have something like this, uh, create push button, add add push button, uh, create push button. Yeah, I don't have other stuff. Yeah, but but I can add a push button in here if I or create push button. 
I can do that. And I'm gonna create a new one in here. Yeah, you can do like that if you want. Usually it's more interesting than the, this approach. So I can, this is this split button. And I can create a push button in this split button. And yeah, have this one. So, yeah. Most of the time I like to use this. It's more interesting or I can move to the ribbon panel. So yeah, that, that's a way to, that's a more easy way to work with. So this is the split, this is a split button one. Something like that. And can you remove this? Something like this. Yes. Where is my command? Where is it? It's this one, yeah. And I can add any one here. Two. And this one, a three. And yeah, all the other features are gonna work in this. Because in the end, this is a push button. Yes. So that's one way to do it and that's i guess easy way to work with so i can move around now i want to put this one in the ribbon panel so now it's in there yeah that's the way to do it and if you use the availability and other stuff gonna work as well now see the last video i'm gonna put here or well yeah whatever so thanks for watching and next time let's talk about, uh, let's see what we have here. Uh, let's talk about, uh, I guess the stack buttons. So I never use in production, but yeah, that's a feature that have had. So let's talk about that. The radio button group. Yeah, that's a terrible name. Anyway, so thanks for watching, give a like, subscribe and see you there. Bye bye.